Hello YouTube! I am back with another what I eat in a day keto routine. I don't know, this is gonna go for longer than a day, I think. Now I'm coming at you guys after coming back from vacation. And on this vacation, we took our kids to Disney. I just made the decision to just go off keto, to just take this, this vacation, to eat whatever. And so now I'm coming home and I'm getting back on track to keto. A couple weeks ago, actually probably like a month ago, I installed a continuous glucose monitor on my arm. And this was so, I was kind of nervous about it, but it was like kind of a cool opportunity. And so I was like, I'm going to try this out to see how I like it. So listen guys, since I installed this monitor, I have learned so much personally about the types of foods that impact my blood sugar. And here's the thing, when you have high glucose, high blood sugar, that's, an, that's a spike of insulin as well. If you can keep your blood sugar stable and you can keep it um, steady below a certain amount, that your body's not releasing insulin. Now, if your body releases a lot of insulin, that's a fat storing hormone. That means even if you're following keto, even if you're in ketosis, you might still be spiking your glucose and you might still be having insulin spikes, which if you have insulin spikes, it's literally impossible to lose fat. So some foods affect people differently. And so I've used this continuous glucose monitor to basically do, be a 24 seven around the clock monitor of um, how my body reacts to different foods. The crazy thing is, since I started this, some foods that I thought were good for me to have regularly gave me spikes and I didn't realize this. And then there were foods that I thought were like, gonna give me crazy spikes didn't give me any spikes as an example we ordered um chinese food now typically chinese food is like one of those things where it's like what can you order on the menu and typically what i would order is mongolian beef and i just assumed it's probably the best option well I got the Mongolian beef. I tested on my continuous monitor. You know, there's no hiding from that. It's gonna tell you whether or not you're doing um, what you ate is causing a high glucose, high sugar response and releasing that insulin. So after eating the Mongolian beef, I found that there is like no spike at all. It's it's completely even, which tells me this is the type of, this is a food that I can, can continue consuming and burning fat at the same time reaching my longevity um, anti-aging goals. And so that's kind of cool. Now I know I'm going to do something like Mongolian beef. So here's the other thing. Typically, if I was like, okay, I'm kind of having a cheat meal, so I'm going to do like gluten-free pasta, I'll order it from a restaurant. And I just assumed like it wouldn't be that bad, but it was bad. It gave me a spike, that gluten-free pasta. So it's really hard to monitor with just the finger prick your glucose because it's not a continuous reading whereas the monitor that goes in your arm will monitor things around the clock so you can actually see hours after you consume something what how it affects you and, and that sort of thing and so what i've also learned in this whole experience is that after having like a carb heavy day it lasts into like the entire next day and the entire next day after that before you start getting back to like a normal baseline when you have the continuous monitor you can actually see how and how long it takes for your body to get back. Now I'm coming at you guys today with this what I eat in a day after coming back from vacation. And on this vacation, we took our kids to Disney. It was so much fun, but it was so stressful at the same time. If you have little kids, you know what I'm talking about. It is nearly impossible. It's not impossible. I'm sure you could do it if you like set it as your goal. But for me, I was like, you know what? It's not worth it for me to like try to be keto on this trip when I have no control over what I'm eating when I'm eating it and it's like we're on the go we're running around we're walking like all day for like 12 hours straight crazy and so I just made the decision to just go off keto to just take this this vacation to eat whatever and so now I'm coming home and I'm getting back on track to keto and I'm seeing the impact of my trip on my continuous monitor and now I'm going to be tracking that and following that to see how long it takes for me to get back on track. So today I'm extremely bloated guys. Like I'm extremely swollen. Carbohydrates are basically hydrated carbon. And so it's water, it tracks water. And so you're going to blow a lot when you start having carbs again after going, especially if you've been like keto for a while or whatever. And it's very noticeable and it just feels like I gained like 20 pounds. I know I didn't, but it feels that way. <laughs> Coming back to this, this morning I had a fat 
fat latte, which that has been a part of my best life routine for the last couple months. It's been amazing. And I make this fat latte just by blending up hot coffee, a tablespoon of MCT 143, which has incredible benefits as well, and then a tablespoon of grass-fed butter, some liquid stevia. I blend that up. I've been having that every single morning fasted. If you are fasting, there's different ways to do it. You can do strict water fast, you can do fat fast, where you have a fat latte, fat coffee like I do. Um, and I've done it all the different ways. And I found the best way for me is with that fat coffee in the morning, because it keeps me full, satisfied, keeps me from having later on having like hunger pains or whatever, I don't at all. And it helps me extend my fast out a lot as well. So that's been working for me really, really well. After that, like a few hours later, I had my first NAT ketone. So I mixed up my ketones with some electrolytes. These are supplements that I've found over the years that have helped me optimize this lifestyle and help me make it so that it's so much easier to stick to, follow, and all of those things. And so the NAT ketones really help because now you're elevating your blood ketone level with a supplement in addition to switching back over to burning fat for fuel. Right now I have a ton of glucose in my system. I can see that with my glucose monitor. I've been right around like 90 to 100 as my baseline, which I want to get that back down to like 75, 80 for glucose. Okay, so this is my plan. I'm fasted right now. I'm still fasted. I don't know what time it is, but I think it's like one o'clock. And I plan to do a keto reboot. So a keto reboot is a 60 hour fast. And I haven't done one in a long time. I used to do these all the time and I kind of pulled away from it, but I need to get back into them. You can do them once a month if you want, but <laughs> I haven't done one in a while. So this is my first keto reboot in a while. And so that's why I was saying this video is gonna last a couple days. It's not gonna be just like a what I eat in a day, one day sort of deal. I'm gonna be just taking you guys back into trying to kick myself back to where I was when I left for my trip so that I'm back into burning fat for fuel, all of those things, feeling my best, all of that, because right now I have a killer headache, a headache, it's so bad, it's like killing me, and as I'm talking, it's like, oh my god, this headache is killing me. It's basically 60 hours, it's an assisted fast. I am going to be modifying it in that I'm gonna keep doing my fat coffee in the morning, and I might do another fat coffee decaf one later in the afternoon. Adding in additional fat macros, only fat macros, has been helping me. So we're gonna see what the results are from this at the end of that 60 hours. No food today, only what comes in my box. Now, there's two different kinds of ketones. There's powdered ketones and there's liquid nat ketones. I'm gonna be drinking the liquid nat ketones for this, but the, the actual reboot kit comes with powdered nats. They're exactly the same. Um, the only difference is the liquid nat is more tart and it's an instant ketosis, which means you drink it, you get effects to your brain, the ketones hit your hit your brain for fuel immediately, whereas the powdered ones are a little bit more slow absorbing and hit you more so over time. If you're interested in doing this with me, I would suggest clicking the link down below in the description. You can get your own reboot kit, it's on sale. Um, you can even package it up with some more ketones if you want. This is like the best way to kind of like kickstart you back to where you want to be because I got to get this glucose out of my system. It's floating around in there and you don't want elevated glucose. That means you have elevated insulin and all of that. So I need to burn it off and the best ways to do that is through fasting and workouts. And so here we are. Okay, so this is day one of the keto reboot. Look at how bloated and swollen I am. Like, oh my, I'm like, this is like crazy. This is what happens when you have a tummy tuck and you get bloated and swollen. It's like all up here. Ugh. Like I can't even, this is me sucking in as much as I possibly can. Like it's not even, like you can't. <laughs> you can't even suck it in. Guys, not cool. Um, yeah. So hopefully, we get rid of this bloating swell. This is what carbs does to you. Like, oh, I cannot wait to just lose this. It's gonna be, hopefully, by the end of this, completely gone. Like if I completely let it all out, that's completely letting it all out. <clears throat> Gosh. 
but it was worth it. The carbs were worth it for a couple days. This is one of my absolute favorite broths. It's a spicy elote, elotis, uh, elote, I don't, I don't know. It's supposed to be like street corn, Mexican street corn, and it's extremely spicy. So beware if you do get this broth, it's spicy, but this specific flavor doesn't usually come in the reboot kit. It's something you would buy separately. So I checked my glucose after that, and just to make sure to see what's going on, and my glucose is, already starting to come down and that's a good sign so um just beginning this reboot we're already kind of like kicking it back down but i'm still seeing spikes like from just the glucose being stored in my system and so i'm looking forward to getting through the end of this reboot now i downloaded this life app so that i can track my fasting along the way i'm 17 hours fasted right now i'm going to be ending this fast on april 21st so i haven't updated you guys on the renovations we have on our pool we are getting there this is a six month renovation it's been so crazy so we're almost done they're installing the appliances next and then doing the siding on the outdoor kitchen everything is coming along but i thought i would give you guys just a little update so you could see where we have come it's been crazy and if you haven't seen what it was before we used to have a cage over this whole thing and this was way outdated and so it's definitely been worth it but it's taken so long it's been absolutely <laughs> crazy so next up i'm mixing up another one of these broths now this is the salted caramel i mix this with cold coffee ice and it is so good it reminds me of like a caramel macchiato an iced caramel macchiato it's really really good and so i had this and i got some work done by the pool on my phone my blood glucose monitor continuous blood glucose monitor sensor ended so i'm gonna install a new one they last two weeks Mommy. Here's the deal with these monitors, okay? There's like a 200,000 person wait list for these, but I have a link to skip the line. So if you are like, what, I want that, that's gonna help me stay on track, that's gonna help me know what, if I'm doing the right thing. Um, also, just figuring out like what foods you should be eating and shouldn't be eating based on how your body reacts and responds. It's really cool because the app will like tell you what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. It like breaks down the data for you all the information is so cool so cool i don't know how i lived with it before to be honest with you because <laughs> now i'm obsessed with it um but you definitely can try it for just one month if you want to just do one month to see the foods that you're eating um or you can just do it every single month because i decided i was going to start with a month and then i was like okay i can't live without this in my life so basically line up the line okay that like loads it up. There's a needle there, but it's like a, what actually goes in you is like the size of like a hair, piece of hair. Um, and you don't even feel it. It's literally painless. It's crazy. Old one here. And so I'm gonna have to take this one off and oh my gosh my like spray tan <laughs> now i have a tan line where this old one was <laughs> that's great that's great okay so we just peel this old one off okay you can see what's inside you is literally this little i don't know feel Tiny, tiny little, like as thick as a hair, maybe a little thicker than a hair, slightly. That's it. Peel this off.
And then we're gonna scan the new sensor. And the sensor can be used in 60 minutes. So now I just wait an hour. So I'm just gonna have like an hour lag. So before bed, I had another fat latte. So this was my second fat latte of the day in the morning and at night. And it definitely helped me sleep. I felt so good. And then waking up in the morning, I blended up another fat latte, which is just the grass-fed butter, MCT, hot coffee, and liquid stevia blended up. So good. Best way to start the day, I swear to you, the best way. Morning guys, day two of the keto reboot. I'm feeling so good. Last night was great. So <laughs> Peter literally ate a gigantic burger right next to me while I am rebooting, which is basically the equivalent of some sort of like torture. <laughs> No, I'm joking. It was actually fine. I wasn't hungry because I had that fat latte before bed. And also I slept really well last night and I wasn't cold at all. And that's one of the benefits of having a fat latte while you are fasted. It keeps you from being cold because it, it does something with the hormones, especially for women. And so I'm actually really, really enjoying this reboot with that fat latte. And I think I would probably reboot more if I incorporate the fat latte in there, it just makes it like a, an easier experience, I think. So I'm just following the Reboot kit, exactly how the Reboot comes, but I'm having a fat coffee in the morning and a fat coffee at night if I feel like it. Um, I could probably extend this out longer than 60 hours just based on how I'm feeling. I'm not hungry at all, like I'm not, and my headaches are completely gone. Yesterday I did have a couple ibuprofen later in the afternoon just because it was like, the headache was, it just kept coming back and that did take care of it, completely took care of it. So I don't know if my headache was because of the, the fasting or if my headache was just because of um, getting back from the trip and all the stress from that and stuff. So we don't, I'm not sure. So anyway, today going into day two, I'm feeling really good. I know I can do this. I'm 30 four hours or 35 hours fasted now at this point um last night i probably peed like 20 pounds out because i was up every i don't know like three hours peeing and i've never peed so much in my life i swear and that's one thing that is like a really good sign that i'm losing the the swelling the blow those heavier carbs caused the other thing like i literally blew up like a balloon and it's because of my gut microbiome my gut microbiome is not used to eating gluten, high carb foods, and, and sugar, and it's used to eating whole, real foods, vegetables. And so when I ate those carb heavy foods for my vacation, it was almost like my gut microbiome wasn't used to that diet, that type of food. And so it's like, <laughs> you're you gotta feed your gut the food that your gut wants and so it causes a lot of that bloating literally like a balloon and it, it's funny because it didn't feel like there was like you know gas there wasn't I didn't have like gas pains you know it was just it's just literally my body just swelled up like a balloon and so anyway that's starting to go away but yeah feeling good i'm gonna have a really productive day today i know it i have so much going on i have a sneak peek tomorrow night with my team um you know to go over like all the details on my business how it works for those people that are interested in launching and starting a business as well and so i've got slides to create for that to finish up for that i've got emails to send out and stuff and i've i've got a lot to do today on the back end. Um, I just recorded a new video for people just getting started into um, using this entire system with directions on how to do that. And so getting that all integrated with the different sites of my business. Anyway, feeling amazing. I've got some furniture being delivered too for my pool deck, finally coming to the end of this renovation. Feels so good. And then once that's all complete, then I will do like a full reveal of everything. But it's it's coming along. I'm so excited about it. This is like my spot. This is where I hang out right here um, in the morning. This is my island. <laughs> it's literally an island, but I say this is my island. I'm on, the, I'm, on, I'm on my island. You can find me on my island having my coffee 
enjoying the sunrise, enjoying the sunset, literally why we moved to Florida. So thankful for this. Oh, so like my glucose monitor guys, so cool. And this is exactly why doing like a reboot like this is so good um, right after you have like a holiday or some sort of like higher carb day um, because my glucose typically coming back trying to just eat keto um, I'm still gonna have those like spikes because you've got a higher glucose in your system still and it takes a while to get it out and then this fast though it's like burning it out so fast and so as an example, yesterday, my glucose, and it's hard, it's kind of hard to see, but like this pink line right here, this is the line you don't really want to cross. That's 110. Um, and so this is the beginning of the day. Now I was fasted this entire day, but because I had such high glucose on my trip, you know, I was way up here and I was still doing a little bit of spiking. And then, you know, here was my first fat coffee. And then things started coming down and and now I'm at a, like a lower baseline down here. And so now I'm starting the day and this would typically take, if I wasn't fasting, for me to achieve this after such a high carb vacation, it would, it, it would probably take me like four or five days of strict keto to get to this point where I'm at right now after just like one day of doing the keto reboot. So that's really exciting. I still, so I got my glucose down to around like 88 and it keeps going up it'll go up like slightly up to like a hundred but then it'll come right back down randomly and that's just because i'm still burning that glucose out of my system you know and your body can contain and can hold glucose in your muscles it'll hold it there i think it, i'm pretty sure and I'll, I'll follow up on this most people can store a maximum of 15 grams of glycogen per kilogram of body mass so that's about almost 5,000 calories of glycogen your body can store uh, so it's, it's like 5,000 calories of uh, it's probably not that much for me it's probably like around 4,000 maybe 3,500 calories of glycogen stored in my body that I need to deplete all right so we're gonna get going on this day It's time for my next keto. Now I'm mixing up hibisco, which is a hibiscus lemonade. It's one of my all-time favorites, and I love it with the lime mitoplex electrolytes. Now, if your kit comes with plain electrolytes, I suggest mixing it with your broth instead of your ketones so it doesn't change the flavor. check this out I just got out of the shower but this is the craziest thing and this is another example of how the continuous glucose monitor in my arm is so helpful I get in the shower right and when you get in a shower and you get into hot water your blood vessels dilate your blood vessels open and if you have stored glycogen which is glucose it can cause that to then flood your your bloodstream as your um, blood vessels open and my blood glucose I'm fasted I am currently 40 hours fasted okay and my blood glucose in the shower spiked 32 points like that's crazy I'll put like a little image here so you can see um, and then it came right down right as I got out of the shower but so crazy now if I didn't have that carb heavy vacation I wouldn't have so much glycogen stored right now and I wouldn't have that flood of um, spike in blood sugar because I haven't seen that with any of the showers that I've taken since I've had this blood glucose monitor in so 
it's just another example of how there's like a delayed response of some of the actions that we take and decisions that we make that you, sometimes you don't even realize, especially if you're just like testing glucose with your, with like a finger stick, you don't see these things. These are, it, it's crazy how delayed the response can be sometimes and how difficult it can be to get back to normal. Um, I'm starting to feel hungry. Right now it is 12 o'clock. Okay, so it's time for my broth. I'm definitely feeling hungry now. So at 40 hours, I'm gonna mix up my broth that caramel was so good yesterday. I think I'm gonna do the caramel again today. So good literally tastes like a caramel macchiato, like an iced caramel macchiato. So good. Outdoor furniture got here. Yes. All right, two more lounge chairs to complete this set. While I put together the furniture, I'm drinking LaCroix, which is sparkling water. I love it. I drink this all the time when I'm fasted. It makes it much easier. So we got the chairs up. They look so good. It's starting to look like a resort back here. And it is just crazy the kind of life that you can create. Like if you want to live on vacation, just make a life like that. That is literally what I did. And so I love it. And then I took Clara for a walk and had my... Uh, next nat ketone of the day and got her you know and the kids ready for dinner 45 hours fasted about to have french onion broth which is so good but i'm telling you guys right now at 45 hours i want buffalo wings <laughs> like i want some keto buffalo wings with ranch oh. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it the full 60 hours. I'm going for it. But tomorrow night, you best believe, I'm having my need some buffalo wings. Chances are your kit is gonna come with the French onion broth. This is one of my absolute favorites. I love French onion soup normally, and so the broth is perfect. I just microwave the water, blend it up, and it's so satisfying and so good. There's higher sodium in this, so it definitely helps with the fasting. And then after this, a couple hours later, I'm blending up my fat latte, which I've done every single day of this reboot, and it's been absolutely fantastic. Wait till you guys see the results from this. You're gonna be blown away by the results at the end of this. So mixing up my fat latte decaf and having this tonight. <laughs> I'm almost at 60 hours. Can you believe it? <sighs> 60 hours. I feel back to normal. I lost nine pounds, almost 10 pounds. It's almost 7 a.m. So it'll be 60 hours at 8 a.m. Wow. So crazy. Keto reboot. Definitely, definitely try it. I mean, you can do it. You can do it. And add in those fat coffees. Like, if you're like really nervous about doing it, they really do help. Like, if you feel hungry, you have one of those fat coffees. I mean, I'm proof. <laughs> 
you're still going to lose burn the fat the bloat the swelling all of that by integrating it or you can just do the keto reboot the way it's outlined i have like a low grade headache a tiny little headache um and i guess we will i will take you guys on what i'm going to break my fast with and all of that today as we get back on track to our goals so basically it was four days i ate carbs heavy carbs like not just not like even good carbs like not good carbs <laughs> and then three days fasted to like reverse it and i'm back i feel so good I am mixing up a pro shake now these kits come with this shake now they're all different di different flavors I'm making a mint chocolate chip one today because it's so good it's like one of the new flavors you buy them in full packages but if you get the reboot kit it's gonna come with the meal to break your fast because it's really important with your refeeding how you break your fast and I thought it was super appropriate to wear my Tommy want wingy shirt for this <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, the, the shake is really good and you make it the same way no matter what flavor it is with just either unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened cashew milk, ice, and you can blend it or, or you can shake it. I'm going to blend mine today with a packet of that Pro and then I'll have my first solid meal a little bit later. Anyway, I dyed my hair. Is it like way too dark? What do you think? Um... I have grays now. I'm 37 years old, and so I have to cover my grays. And the temporary like dyes don't work for that as well. So we're going a little darker this summer, I guess. I can't believe I made it 63 hours before I mixed up this shake. Absolutely unreal. And it's, the crazy thing is, once you finish the reboot, if you're used to intermittent fasting, usually you're gonna break your fast like a little bit past the 60 hours especially if your fast is supposed to be broken in the morning because most people fast in the morning and so that's the case with me so i'm actually mixing mine with the keto cream which is a amazing amazing um fat coffee that has collagen and it also has like mcts in there and so it's very creamy and it makes this into a meal that tastes absolutely unreal and unbelievable and you can do that with any of the pros and they taste really really good with the keto cream in there and so i did that with ice and i just blended that up with some unsweetened cashew milk and it really is so creamy and so good like guys it's unreal it's unbelievable <laughs> i can't believe that they can actually make this so good and then i added some unsweetened or sugar-free chocolate chips to the top of this and guys delicious it's a dessert but it's also a meal it's perfect so good Okay, we are going out to lunch now. It's, from the time I had that shake to break my fast, it'll be two hours until I have my first solid meal, or I guess it's 65 hours from my last solid meal. Crazy, I know I wasn't, I haven't been fasted since that, I mean that shake definitely broke my fast. Glucose wise, everything's back to normal. Um, let's see. How that shake has been doing in my system okay so awesome stable glucose too soon for the shake at about one o'clock it will tell me like a score for the shake I can already tell you I mean just looking at what it is now it's like totally flat it's perfect it's gonna be a 10 
I got a simple burger over a salad with ranch and some bacon. It was so good. Amazing. Like really good. And some avocado in there too. Hey guys, so listen. It's been a couple days since... Sorry about the noise. They're doing construction in my backyard. <laughs> but it's been a couple days since I finished the reboot and what's happened metabolically has been absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put a little image right up right here so you guys can check this out. This is an example of my month. So this is a calendar of my month and the scores on here are a score based on 100%. 100% being the absolute best that you can do metabolically with the foods that you're eating with your entire day. Now they say typically with levels, um, people score between 70 to 80 percent scoring in the 90s is like extremely high now what I want you guys to check out on this image is what happened after the reboot so you see my my carb heavy heavy vacation right I have it circled and then you see where I did the keto reboot and then you see afterwards now if you also look at the beginning of the month you can see the days that I was just strict keto before my vacation you can see I was scoring within the 80s and then after my vacation I was in the 90s okay and this is an example of how the keto reboot works not just while you are fasting but there's like a, a an after effect of the reboot and it's gonna help boost the metabolism and boost your metabolic rate for the entire 30 days after the reboot. That's why they say to do it like once a month. And so um, even if you don't lose any actual weight on the scale within the actual reboot time, the results come later. And this is just an example of that. So I just wanna share that with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this one, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do some more of these. I was uploading a lot of these previously and I'm thinking about getting back into it. So let me know if you wanna see more vlogs like this right here on my channel. I'm also very active in Instagram every single day. I'm uploading what I eat in a day. I'm sharing the results of the foods that I'm eating and the different, um, you know, what's affecting my glucose and that sort of thing. And so I think you will find it very very interesting over there on Instagram so head over there follow me there check the links in the description for anything if you want to try out a keto reboot I suggest you bundle it with a 10-day challenge as well as a Mitoplex they, they have like these things called better bundles so you can bundle together the the 10 day challenge which has 20 ketones variety of flavors plus the Metaplex electrolytes there and then you can add on a reboot and it's going to save a ton on all of that so i'll put the link in the description below thanks guys for watching this one take care